my dear brothers and sisters, the disciples and devotees of Sri Aurobindo and the mother gathered in the city of consciousness, Oroville, and uh, those who have joined online all over the world. The love and blessings of the mother and Sri Aurobindo to all of you from Sri Aurobindo Ashram Delhi branch. It is with a great deal of hesitation that I am speaking on the subject of today's conclave, that is uh, the supramental. And uh, to explain why I have that hesitation, I would first say what the supramental is not. Supramental is not a superior mind. Supramental is a major step, a new step, a futuristic step in the evolution of consciousness on earth. The major steps in the evolution of consciousness on earth so far have been the body, life and mind. Supramental will be the fourth major step in this process. And it's because of that, that a person like me, who lives at the level of the mind, will find it difficult to imagine what supramental will be like. And that is also what explains why the gap between animals and man is much less than the gap that would be between the mental human being and the supramental creature or the supramental man. According to Sri Aurobindo, the life of an average person is uh, organized around the physical vital level, that is, around the needs of the body and the emotional part of the being. To that, he adds the outputs of the ordinary mind, which he sprinkles in life like salt and pepper. What is the impact of a person moving from the ordinary mind to the higher levels of the mind, such as the higher mind, the illumined mind, and the intuitive mind, and so on? The impact may be summed up by saying that he moves progressively from the ego, which is a separative principle, towards love, which is a uniting principle. So he, has, he develops a greater sense of love, which is inspired by a greater sense of oneness. A certain degree of separative consciousness persists even till the level of the overmind, and it is only in this new principle of the supermind in which that separation, that sense of separation, will be completely dissolved. But even a few small steps from the separative consciousness towards the consciousness of oneness makes the person far more loving, and that is what sweetens the life of this person and the lives of those around him. So one can imagine that when the supramental consciousness becomes a relatively common phenomenon, how much change there would be in the world. And in fact, that would be the ultimate solution to all the problems of human existence. Will the supramental creature lose some of the abilities which human beings today have? I'm raising this point because the mother has made an interesting observation. And in fact, she has said that uh, human beings might lose some of the mental abilities as a result of the advent of the supramental principle. And this one can easily understand because in the process of uh, evolving a mind which is as complex as that of man, man has in fact lost some of the abilities which animals have. A man can't smell like a dog, he can't run as fast as a horse, he can't live on grass and paper the way a cow can, and so on. And therefore, why is it impossible that uh, in the course of uh, evolution of the a superman or uh, the supramental creature, some of the mental human abilities would be lost. And uh, the mother has said that that would be really good because uh, that's how man would lose the ability to cheat himself and others. The word supramental has great romantic appeal and I'm sorry that I've injected a dose of realism into this uh, romantic idea. All the same, it is the direction which is important and any steps that we take towards the supramental consciousness, which will involve a, many steps at the level of the mind itself, uh, will be worthwhile. And uh, each step taken in that direction uh, will improve the world. And uh, larger the number of people who participate in the process, the more will be the acceleration of uh, that uh, world in which there will be far less misery and suffering than has been considered the norm. Let me end with uh, a few lines from Savitri, and uh, these lines are from Book 11. The supermind shall be his nature's fount. The eternal's truth shall mold his thoughts and acts. The eternal's truth shall be his light and guide. 
Even the multitude shall hear the voice. The emphasis is on numbers, the multitude. This earthly life become the life divine. Thank you.